What is going on guys? Panther here bringing you our APA Wi-Fi week one battle against uh, Midicus and the Boston Bee Drills. So for those of you that didn't catch our draft analysis, uh, before we even get started here, be sure to back up, check out our draft analysis, see what our team looks like. Um, don't think there's going to be any team builder, at least not this week, uh, especially since we played Midicus again uh, the last week of the season. Don't really want to give away too many of my sets just in case some of them don't hit the field um, or in case some of them don't do too much. Um, but um, as we can see over there, Monikus has a very threatening team of the Manaphy, uh, the Sableye, the Electros, the Hitmontop, the Ferrothorn, and the Garchomp. Uh, pretty much knew the Manaphy, the Garchomp, and the Ferrothorn were all coming. Uh, those are the biggest threats on Monikus' team. New, I, I had a feeling he would bring Sableye, just because Sableye is such an annoying Pokemon that Monikus loves to use. Um, I knew the Electros would come because my Jolteon just destroys his team uh, without Electros. I'm really expecting AV Electros to be his... Um, his Jolteon check for me. And a little surprise with the Hitmon top as well. Um, wasn't really predicting that with um, with, with a Latios and a Mega Pinsir on uh, my side of the field. Um, so uh, for this match, I really built my team um, to answer his his huge threats. So I'm definitely most worried about the Manaphy, the Garchomp, and the Ferrothorn. I figured um, turn one, there was a good, a good chance that he would lead off with the Ferrothorn or lead off with the Garchomp. Um, so I want to lead with my Mill Tank um, that has both of the elemental punches uh, to hit them times four super effectively to kind of take them on. I'm, I built my Mill Tank to really to check both of those mods. Uh, uh, it, it's max defense uh, with Sap Sipper to come in um, on um, the Ferrothorn. Gyrowall can't really do too much to me. And... Um, the uh, Garchomp can't uh, either with its Earthquake unless, you know, it's it's got some crazy set that I don't expect. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the battle here. I decide to lead off with um, my Mill Tank while he leads off with, I believe, his Hitmontop. Um, so I definitely did not expect the Hitmontop lead. I guess his thoughts were maybe I would just lead with Excadrill, try to get my Stealth Rocks up or... Or something like that, but you know, Mill Tank can definitely have Stealth Rocks on it too. Although I do not have the Stealth Rocks on it this week, um, so definitely do not want to catch the close combat turn one. Um, so we just get the heck on out of there. Um, we go hard into my melodic. So um, predicting the close combat. So he actually does not close combat here. He goes straight for the fake out. So looks like he is um, <laughs> a more annoying set with fake out and probably. Priority, uh, Bullet Punch, Sucker Punch. Uh, he gets the um, Devastating Crit turn one that could turn into something huge. Um, and for those of you who don't know, uh, me and me and Mydicus are um, both co-commissioners of the APA. Um, we started the league together. Play very safe there turn two, throwing off the Toxic just in case um, he wanted to go out into um, the Manaphy. I knew that the Ferrothorn could come in, but like I said, I do have my, my dedicated switch into Ferrothorn, and he really can't touch touch mill tank um he runs i've seen monikus run leech seed ferrothorn a lot just um in some tur tournaments that we've done and wouldn't you know he uh he throws off the leech seed here so i'm predicting like knock off um protect leech seed and probably like stealth rocks or spikes or something like that um so get the fire punch off plus one fire punch hurts so did did huge damage there um he does have the um the Rocky Helmet and the Iron Barbs, which is annoying. So he, he he knocks off, knocks off my leftovers there. I believe I play very safe here, and I just um, milk drink up, knowing he could switch out. So he goes out into the Chompius Rex, which is the Garchomp in the beautiful Dusk Ball. Um, I milk drink up. Um, Mydicus would later say that um, he didn't predict predict me to have the um, Ice Punch as well as the Fire Punch, um, but you know I, I definitely knew I couldn't allow this thing to. Uh, to uh, come in for free on my mill tank here. So it, it was my answer for both of them. So I definitely had both of the elemental punches. So I fire off the ice punch here. Plus one ice punch does huge damage. Uh, we take that thing down to about 30%. Of course, we're taking the rough skin. We're taking the rocky helmet, it looks like there. He's got uh, rough skin rocky helmet and then iron barbs rocky helmet. Just trying to be annoying for my physical attackers. Typical Mydicus in the Boston Beedrill style there. <laughs> just kidding, Mydicus. But anyways, uh, he goes out to the Mule Tank to get that uh, that all. I actually predict that. Go for the Body Slam, um, predicting him to switch out maybe into the Manaphy. Does some pretty decent damage there to the hip on top. So I don't want to catch the close combat again. Um, just I go right out. I, I thought I went onto Melodic, so I go out into my, um, my Latios, predicting the close combat. 
and he just goes straight up for the close combat. Um, hindsight, maybe I should have went to Melodic, but um, Latios definitely puts more offensive pressure on his team. So it definitely threatens him out here, so this gives me an opportunity to get my free calm lined up. So he can't touch me. He withdraws. He goes out into, it looks like, the Electros. Meanwhile, I get up my calm mind. So I calc at this point. I'm betting he's AV. I do have Psy Shock, and I have the, Psy, uh, the Psyche MZ that turns this into Shattered Psyche. So this is a roll to actually kill this thing here. Did like 95 to 110, 93 to 110, something like that. So first Z move of APA Wi-Fi, getting fired off here. I believe it was the only one used this week, if I'm not mistaken. So firing off a big shattered psyche, just picking up the eel and throwing it off the walls, just destroying it. Plus one shattered psyche coming from Latios, almost knocks it out. Uh, but we do get the unfortunate roll there um, that allows him to do um, some decent damage to my Latios. So definitely, um, definitely would have been a better position that would have picked up the heal. So he actually goes out into Manaphy here. Not, I, I, I guess he thought he could live. Um, Live 2 plus 1 Psy Shocks from my Latios, but as you can see, that is not the case. So he, he allows me here to knock out his Manaphy, um, which is amazing uh, for my team because Manaphy can be so versatile, um, can be such a threat for an ill prepared team. So down goes the Manaphy. We're up 6 5 at this point, and we're, we're feeling really good about ourselves. So we know he has the fake out. Definitely um, do not want to stay in here and sacrifice my Latios because I, I still outspeed his whole team. We've seen the Garchomp is not Scarf at this point. Um, so, so Latios definitely puts in some work. And of course we have Melodic who just eats up anything that this thing wants to throw at us. I mean, he he's really going to have trouble touching my Melodic, especially now that the Electros is, um, has been knocked out. So he uh, withdraws Hitmontop here and he goes out into the Pharaoh Thorn. Um, I think I throw off the Ice Beam. Yep, throw off the Ice Beam here, predicting that. Um, just want to kind of scout and see what it does to it. Looks like it's going to be about a 3 hit KO from this range, um, so I need another 2 to hit it. I don't want to take that risk. I have my dedicated switch and I have my mill tank. He can't touch my mill tank, so right on out into um, my mill tank. And I think he just leads seeds here. Uh, maybe potentially forgetting that I actually am Sab Sipper. Um, so. Get my sap to boost. All of a sudden, I'm a plus one mill tank again, and I'm feeling good about life. So he goes um, in a sable eye. I knew that was a pretty pretty big uh, possibility, but I, I think I just throw off a fire punch. No, uh, milk drink. Okay, so I milk drink there just to stay nice and healthy. So um, you know, I, I can't. I, I come in for free on the ferrothorn. It's already knocked me off. I'm at full health. He's going to have some big problems breaking through my um, defensive core at this point in the game, especially without Manaphy's ability to tail blow. Um, so, got into Melodic on this Sableye. I was baiting the um, baiting the Will O' Wisp, is what I was trying to do. Um, but he goes for the knockoff on the Mill Tank. So, you know, we'll, we'll take that because I can I can just recover this on up. And then he gives me the gift of a Will O' Wisp here. So. Um, he, he gives me my Marvel Skill Boost, which is going to make this thing even harder for him to break. Actually, I don't recover up. I go for the Toxic on this thing, because I know how annoying this thing can be. Definitely want to uh, definitely want to get rid of this thing um, and get the Toxic Timer on it. So I know now he can't he can't touch me. He's got the Will of Us over the Toxic. He's giving me my boost. And so now I think I just get up the free recover. At least I hope I do, because that's definitely the smartest play here at this point. Um so he goes out into the Ferrothorn, and I should get up the Recover here. I do. So I get up the Recover. So, you know, no harm uh, no harm on this play. So now I'm burned. I'm at full health. So I've got my 50% defense boost, and I'm sitting pretty here with um, with, with Ariel out on the other side of the field. So he has uh, – he, he doubles actually, I think, out into Sableye, I guess, predicting the mill tank. And I think at this point I just throw off an Ice Beam because he can't touch me now. I know he's not going to go for Leech Seed. He doesn't have the power up. He's definitely got the gyro ball. Um, so I just throw off the ice beam, hoping he'd stay in and just let me knock it out with my melodic. But he doesn't. He goes out into the sable eye, which is no big deal. Um, sable eye can't can't touch me now at this point. Not unless he has like taunt or something like that, just to prevent me from recovering up. But you know, we're, we're just able to throw off the skull here. It's stab. Um, you can see that he's going to be able to re just recover this off. Let's see how much this shadow claw does. 
that that did literally 19. <laughs> so, um, you know, we can definitely stand here all day. The toxic just going to keep racking up on the save a lot. So it's not looking like it's going to be a good day for Spookly over there um, facing my gigantic melodic. Look at this thing. Look how huge it is compared to Sableye. So Sableye recovers. This is kind of getting stally. Um, little, uh, little, little boring spot in the battle. But you know, I had no reason to switch. He's on the Toxic Timer, so you know, I, I literally have no reason at all to to switch out or anything like that. So um, Toxic takes its toll, and is this a turn where I make the switch? So I, I make a switch on one of these turns upcoming very soon. Um, yep, here it is. So I, I make the switch now into my Jolteon. So I go hard into my Jolteon knowing that he's most likely going to recover here or, or even switch out himself. He makes the switch out. Not a problem. He goes into the Electros on the Melodic. Um, he, he, he made the risk. He made, took the chance there. So I go for the T-Bolt um, and knock out the... Um, knock out the Electros. So we have gotten rid of the Electros and the Manaphy at this point with Garchomp, Sableye, and Ferrothorn all low. Um, so that's that's a good thing. So he recovers up, kind of scouting out, see what um, see what item I am. Um, he doesn't really know what I am yet just because Electros was pretty low. So and as we can see here, he can't recover Stall Me. He's not recovering up enough HP um, to to handle Blitzkrieg here, so you know he's he's forced to make a decision here. I don't have any reason not to just keep clicking Thunderbolt, even he, if he wants to go out into the Garchomp. I have the HP Ice for that, um, but he chooses to go out into Ferrothorn, and as you can see from this damage, I can easily pick up the two AK. Is it? It may even just knock him out. Okay, yeah, I didn't knock him out, but I can definitely pick up just the KO here with another T-Bolt. So two kills right there for Jolteon. Jolteon at this point I thought was going to just just finish the game and completely sweep. We've seen the Garchomp's item. We know it's not Yachi or anything like that. Um, he actually chooses to go out into Garchomp here. Knowing that I most likely had the HP Ice, uh, but he was just hoping at this point that I didn't have it. Um, so I just go straight for the HP Ice, pick up the kill. And all of a sudden, Blitzkrieg has three kills. Um, so it looks like Jolteon's just going to finish sweeping this match. But I make a huge mistake against Spinaroonie here. Um, so did not calc this thing um, at all. I, I figured it would kill. I'm Magnet. Um, but I, I did not even take into consideration that this thing is AV. Uh, so I take quite a bit there from the fake out. But I knew I could I could take that. I really want to Blitzkrieg to get these kills. So I go for the T-Bolt. And it doesn't take it out, which is... Really unfortunate. So he goes for the close combat. He knocks out my Jolteon here, unfortunately. And um, he gives us our first loss of the season. Our first teammate lost, at least. So all he's got left is the Sableye and the um, severely damaged hit on top. I make a misplay here and actually go out into Latios. And I'm like, wait, this thing gets Bullet Punch and Sucker Punch. Why, why did I do this? So I'm just like, all right. Let's, I, I wanted to force him to not go back into um, Sableye because I could knock it out with the Draco Meteor. But he does have the Sucker Punch. So as soon as I, as soon as I clicked it, it's not like Showdown, you can't cancel. As soon as I clicked it, sent out Latios, realized that was a mistake. Let's go back out into Melodic. He can't touch me, so I just go right back out into Melodic and recover off the damage. So he obviously, obviously, obviously cannot touch me at this point. That, that close combat is not doing anything. I believe I just throw off the Scald here and knock this thing out. If Nope. It's next turn. Because I am faster. He doesn't have any speed investment. I think he has max defense. Oh, nope, he does. So he does go out actually into the um, into the Sableye. So he goes out into Sableye. I throw off the Scald. This doesn't kill. And of course, this is, um again, getting a little bit stally because he's just going to try to recover stally. But I, I have no reason not to keep clicking Scald just to keep this thing low. And um, we, we already we already know where this is going. Um, there's not much he can do at this point to um, to bring this back. He can't stall any of my mons out uh, or or anything like that. So thankfully, Mydicus decides not to try to sit here and stall, uh, which is which which I do sincerely appreciate because uh, this could have gotten very stally. He just lets the Sableye go down and he lets um, the Hip on top go down next. So. 
little, little misplay there on our part, letting uh, letting Jolteon die. Proper play would have been to just bolt switch out into um, a melodic. Um, could have probably even went out to Pinsir and just quick attack next turn or returned. Nothing wanted to come in and take that. But we are able to pick up the 5-0 win still. Um, you know, Melodic definitely came through. Miltank definitely came through. I wish Miltank would have picked up a kill. Um, but, you know, definitely excited to pick up our first win of the season, our first 5-0 win. Um, really, really happy about that. So, great game to Mydicus. Um Next week we play D-Pad and the Orlando Superiors. Never played D-Pad before, so definitely looking forward to that match. Um, Mydicus is that was a divisional game, so that was huge. Um, picking up a 1-0 win um, with, the, with the five differential, putting him in a big hole to start the season, and us, you know, looking good. Um, but you know, Mydicus is a, um, a a good battler, so I know he'll bounce back. Um, I don't know who he plays next week, but definitely be sure to go check out the video, check out his side, check out his commentary. This is the Battle of the Commissioners here, um, so I was really excited to be playing my buddy. Um, you know, we um, we started the uh, APA Showdown League over a year ago, so this is our, our first branch out into Wi-Fi. This is our first um, league Wi-Fi battle um, with the APA, so it was, it was a great way to start this commissioner versus commissioner. So um, it just happened to get randomized that way. Um, was not uh, scheduled or planned to happen, but um, definitely happy that it, that it did. Definitely happy to bring home the win, too, in our first um, APA Wi-Fi match. Um, really excited about the season. Really excited about the team. Um, I have some mods that I really, really am looking forward to using, like Excadrill, Jolteon, Mega Pinsir. Basically, the six you see on the screen plus the five on the bench. I'm excited about all eleven. Not, not gonna lie. But anyways, guys, be sure to um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think I could have done differently. Um, any set that um, you liked, you didn't like. Be sure to um, to let me know about that. But until next time, guys. Um, thanks for watching.